Hi, my name is Rio and I teach at Fresno City College and I'm excited for you to start in the class that I'm teaching this semester. CIT 15 is a computer concepts class that really gives students what they need to succeed in the world that we live. We live, as you all know, in a really technology-based um, culture and having those skills that help you succeed and help you be productive is what we're here to give you. So this first message is really to give you, you know, how do we get started right in this course. So in this first video, I'll just go over some basic information so that you know what you need to do um, for both uh, the online and the face-to-face. -face. And really what that means is some of you will show up in the classroom and some of you will show up online. But really this class will be identical in 99% of the way. So the, the few things that are different I'll point out as we go through. So let's go ahead and turn to the screen and take a look at the message that I sent you. Okay. So the message that I sent you to your campus email was from my Gmail account and it really talks about, you know, when the semester starts. But the most important thing here is hopefully you're watching this video and you're getting that, but the link to Blackboard. And so um, this, the Blackboard has some, if you've been around and hopefully you've been in Blackboard before, but if you haven't and you had an old uh, link to Blackboard, make sure you use this one from here, from here forward. We've had some issues with students not using the right link. So what do you need to do? You need to get into Blackboard. We'll do that in a minute. You need to get into our course. You need to show your attendance. So, you know, showing your attendance when you're taking an online class may sound kind of funny because it's really people think of showing your attendance in what we call the traditional face-to-face -face mode. But for purposes of this class, you need to do it for both types of students. So if you're coming in class, you have to be here the first two weeks of the semester starting day one or you get dropped. If you're online, you have to show your attendance once per week starting on Monday at 8 go into Friday at noon. So you only have to show it again if you're online once per week. But this first week I'm going to say you have to do it before the Tuesday. So we start on Monday, you have to do it before Tuesday and you might wonder why. Well, the fact is some students uh, enroll in classes both face-to-face -face online and sometimes they've realized they're not going to take this class but they don't drop it and there's other students wanting to get in. So during this first week, you just need to understand that piece. Okay, so uh, I give you some information, uh, just basically what I said here. So let's just go ahead and, and get into Blackboard, right? Click on that link. Now, I've, I've already actually gotten in, so let me go back to the start page so you can see that. Okay, so this is a student uh, account I have, and as the first thing I noticed, and I thought I'd leave it this way so I could show you, is that their course listings are not showing up uh, when you go in and the reason is it's a little lower so if you know you can just click and drag and move these things up or you can go into courses either way to get there okay now again don't worry if your specific section is not listed here this is really for anyone taking CIT 15 so let's go ahead and get into the course the one thing you'll notice um, is that the first thing you see here is a calendar so and calendar is really important to us in a semester. We need to know what's due, when is it due, right? What's coming at me? So I heavily rely and therefore students will need depend on the calendar. And the way this works is you can see that the first due date we have is Thursday, okay? So, and it's a classwork. So I'll be talking about this later, but if you click on that, it'll say go to the assignment. And it actually will take you right to the assignment that you need to do, okay? And we'll get you set up for how to do classwork in a little bit, but I just wanted to give you that demo here. And now this is what you're going to see a lot in my course, is links that are highlighted in yellow, and it'll say view instructions. So I'm going to go ahead and click on that, and it'll open. Now, this is a Google Doc. So all of my instruction is actually listed in a Google Doc. So I know it's a couple more clicks, but it's the way I'm modifying my courses to be uh, have the content linked externally, something I may talk about in the semester why I'm doing it that way. Now, what's important here is not necessarily to get started here, but to see that it takes you right to the item that's due. So let's go back to the calendar again. Okay. So getting used to this calendar is obviously an important part of the course. 
Now, the thing that students often ask me to begin with, and it's something let's just make sure we've covered, right, is what about the textbooks? What do I need? Um, so I'm going to show you, you're going to need two things. You're going to need um, a textbook and a My IT Lab. And the textbook is just a traditional textbook, 13 chapters focused on computer concepts. And the My IT Lab is simulation software, okay? So let me show you, um, and really, I, in what's most important this first time in is to look at the syllabus. Again, you'll notice this thing pervasive through my courses is it opens in an external link. It is a Google Doc. It gives you some information about me. It also gives you a link to my calendar so you can see what my schedule is. Uh, important, you know, when my office hours are, when I'm actually in class. On Friday I have a virtual office hour. These are important things that you can check out on your own. Okay, um, my email. So I don't use Fresno City College email as my main email account. So make sure you're communicating with me through my Gmail account because I have it on me at all times and I can be more responsive. Now we'll talk about, as we get into the course, ways that you'll get support. It won't necessarily be contacting me directly. And you can imagine with as many students as we have in these sections, that gets to be a little bit of a challenge. Okay, coming back here. So here are the two things that I mentioned before. Here, so here's the other thing. You, there are two ways that you can get the materials, okay? You can buy it at the Fresno City Bookstore, and it's $100. Here's a link. If you've never looked at the um, bookstore online, they have the information you can see there, okay? Now, this is bundled together, so it may not quite be clear, but I wanted you to see that. Oh, and I even gave a link here to the Fresno City Bookstore so that you could go in and look at that and know how to find books in there. Okay, so if you buy it at the Fresno City Bookstore, you get a hard copy of the textbook. Okay, so let me just actually click here too. So here is the copy. Here is the uh, cover. Oh, wow, it's we're waiting a little bit for it to come in here. So here is the cover of the textbook that you're going to need. Technology in Action. It's a complete, the 12th edition. Okay. So uh, again, the syllabus gives you all that you need. So if you buy it at the bookstore, okay, you get a hard copy, right? So hard copy, you actually get a physical book. So it costs a hundred bucks. The other method you can use to get the materials is actually to buy it from Pearson the publisher of the Maya IT Lab and also the publisher of the textbook. Okay, so you can do that. You save a little money. The difference is, and I bet you know what's coming, you don't get a hard copy. That's really the only difference. You will get an access code. Uh, and, well, sorry, on this case, in this case, when you buy them from the bookstore, you'll get an access code. Okay, but otherwise, it's the same access to the My IT Lab, you get an ebook version here, which I think is awesome. Okay, and I have loved uh, getting um, using the ebooks because uh, you know I'm just I'm a technology teacher. I like that kind of stuff using the electronic version of something versus a hard copy. But you get to choose the way you want to purchase the textbooks. Okay, so. Um, uh, you starting last semester, Microsoft is now free, right? So the other thing is about getting into your uh, Microsoft Office account here is that I just went and searched uh, on Google Office 365, but there are links all over the place. I went ahead and logged in so I could show you here. And you can install Microsoft Office uh, on Mac and PC, which, by the way, if you didn't know, there's a new version uh, of Office for the Mac. So I, I've been downloading that and looking at it over the summer. It really does uh, make some nice improvements to get the Mac version and the PC version closer together, which is cool. Mm -hmm. Okay. So uh, that's Microsoft Office. And then the course objectives, you can kind of look through this yourself. You'll see this. We have a schedule, a tentative schedule here, which, by the way, um, basically mimics what's happening in the calendar here, which is uh, helpful, I hope. And this really um, is what, you know, students often ask and wonder, you know, do I need the textbook? You know, do I have to have it? Well, in this case, the textbook uh, and my IT lab, really, and I, I'll, let me break them out for a second. So the my IT lab is going to teach you Microsoft Office. Okay, uh, we'll have um, Word, Excel, no PowerPoint, and Access. So you will have four, tr um, we'll talk about the details of all this later, but you'll have four um, assessments for each of those topics, and then you'll have a lab test for each. 
And then also the final uh, will be in the My IT Lab. But in this case, what I'm really trying to show you here is that My IT Lab, those items that I talked about, account for 30% of your grade. So do you need the materials? And the answer is absolutely. Because in addition to the My IT Lab, your chapter quizzes, right? Again, depending on the way you've purchased this, um, that's 20%. So if you don't get the course materials, you cannot pass this class, okay? I know that's a question you have, and I understand why, because I've taken classes and I buy textbooks and they're not used, so I get it. So I'm just trying to be clear with you, is that do you need the textbooks? And the answer is absolutely, okay? All right, coming back to here, you can see um, there'll be some hands-on assignments that um, I um, will give you through the semester. We'll have varying topics here. Uh, the, for the first couple of weeks, I'll just give you some assignments to get you used to uh, using the cloud, uploading to the cloud, linking from the cloud. You'll um, and I and here's the other thing: is you need to have a Gmail account. You will see this from the beginning of the semester, so you will need a Gmail account. Uh, even if you have a Fresno City account, uh, you're going to need one for a couple of the hands-on assignments and some other things that we're going to need. So just know that you are going to need that. Okay, and there's some other things in here that is really important for you to check out. Okay, so, but back to the course. So this course, uh, by the time you've seen this video, is ready for you to check out. Go ahead and get started in. Okay, so the attendance. So we'll just leave with this concept, I think, today. So I've just made it available just now so you can see it. So it's not, normally you won't see this until the beginning of the week. Again, online students, it works a little differently. I think I've covered that pretty well. So online students, you'll see it first thing 8 o'clock. It'll be available through Friday, but for that first week, you need to make sure you've got it done by the Tuesday at noon, okay? Because I'm trying to make sure students that are here are ready to go. Online face-to-face -face students, you guys, you got to show up. That's just kind of the way it is. You've got to show up because if you don't show up, you get dropped the first day of the semester. Okay, this is pretty much standard across city. So this is the course I would tell you to go ahead, take a look. Uh, the My IT Lab. Um, oh, so that's actually probably more important to well, as important to talk about here too, is that with the My IT Lab, if you're going to purchase it through Pearson. And even if you're purchasing it from the bookstore, you'll get an access code from them. If you're purchasing it from Pearson, you'll have to get it through Blackboard. Okay, so there'll be a link here, and you can see this uh, My IT Lab. And then I'll have another video walking you through just how to use and how to set up your account for My IT Lab. Okay, so I think um, hopefully this gives you what you need to get started. Uh, hopefully you're ready to go. I know I am. I'm actually really excited for this semester. I'm really excited because I'm, uh, I have not been teaching CIT 15 on a regular basis, and this semester I'm switching, and I'm excited to give uh, some new gifts. You know, we all learn. We all learn when we teach. As a matter of fact, I think the teachers learn the most <laughs> in class. So I'm looking forward to um, the concepts that we get to cover, the skills we hopefully will help you obtain, and the time we spend together. Honestly, that's uh, one of my big enjoyments of life is that I get to do that. So peace out. <laughs>